Retired Marine Corps General James Cartwright, once one of President Obama's closest advisors, now under Justice Department investigation for supplying classified material to a New York Times journalist. According to a source familiar with the matter, the former vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is being scrutinized for divulging details to David Sanger for his book, Confront and Conceal. The book details the Obama administration's efforts to confront national security challenges, including Iran's nuclear program. NBC News reports Cartwright is being investigated for allegedly providing secret details about a U.S. program he helped run to infect an Iranian nuclear facility with the Stuxnet's computer virus, an operation so sensitive he once described it as an act of war if used against the U.S. So the question then becomes, are those centrifuges critical to our national activities? If, if in the judgment of the national leadership that's true, then, then it becomes an act. CNN has not confirmed Cartwright specifically is being investigated over Stuxnet's, and he has not been charged. Cartwright's attorney said any suggestion that he could have betrayed the country he loves is preposterous. CNN contributor Fran Townsend, a former Bush administration colleague of Cartwright's, thinks it's inconceivable the general would leak such vital secrets is really shocking to me because this is not the sort of thing Haas was not a shoot from the hip guy not a sort of not a self aggrandizing mm -hmm. soldier i mean he's a a, a, a real a real patriot. Stephen Aftergood, an advocate for reducing government secrecy, says reforms are needed to deal with disclosures of classified information short of criminal prosecution. The vice chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff is not a disgruntled mid-level bureaucrat. He sits at the very top of the pyramid. And if he is accused of leaking classified information, then anybody could be.